Hey, what's happening, y'all? So this weekend, we decided to just do some camping and relaxing. And boy, I tell you, that weather done turned chilly on me. And speaking of chili, that is exactly what I'm heating up right now for lunch. Some leftover dead chili. Boy, I tell you, that's some good chili, yeah. And it ain't that hard to cook. Just a few simple ingredients, and it don't take that long. And it freezes well, so you can reheat that later on. Oh, you want to know what the recipe is? Let me show you how to go cook that. All right, so we got one chopped sweet onion, two sticks of chopped celery, one chopped bell pepper, two chopped jalapenos, seeded and deveined, and two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now in our ninja mixer or your blender, we're gonna combine one can of tomato sauce, one small can of chopped green chilies, a half a can of chipotle's in adobo sauce, one can of Rotel tomatoes, and half a bottle of chili sauce. We're we'll gonna blend that up nice and smooth. Now I got two pounds of ground deer meat. And what we're doing is we're gonna let that drain, let all that old wild blood drip out of there. But we don't have that wild game taste. For my dry seasoning, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of my salt and pepper mix. I'll show you how to make that down below in the comment section. I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a tablespoon of chipotle chili powder, half a tablespoon of ancho chili powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, and half a tablespoon of oregano. Now I'm also gonna put in three tablespoons of brown sugar, but I'll show you that later. All right, heat up a heavy pot and melt one full stick of sweet cream butter. And once your butter's all melted, go ahead and add in your celery, your onions, and your bell pepper. Not necessarily in that order. I know we're gonna stir this up real good, and then we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna cook it for about five minutes covered. And what we're trying to do is get the moisture to build up to where it softens these vegetables really good. About two and a half minutes into it, we're gonna stir it, cover it again, and let it finish cooking for another two and a half minutes. Now after five minutes, as you can see, there's a whole lot of moisture in there and the vegetables then got nice and soft. Now we're gonna cook it uncovered for another five minutes, stirring occasionally, until almost all of this moisture is out of here. Now after about five minutes, all that moisture should be cooked out and we ready to add in our deer meat. Get that mixed up real good. We're gonna cover that up and we're gonna let that cook for about two and a half minutes. And after two and a half minutes, give it a stir, recover it, and cook it for another two and a half minutes. Now once the initial browning process is done, we're going to go ahead and uncover it, give it a stir, and let it cook for another five minutes, uncovered, stirring a cake. After five minutes, we're ready to start adding other ingredients. Add in your garlic and mix it in well. Add in your dry spices. Oh, don't forget that. Now we're gonna mix all this up real, real good now. Now we're gonna throw in them jalapenos. Rinse that out with one cup of water. 
Make sure I get all that good stuff in there. Mix that up real, real good. I dump in two cans of red beans. Now you could use any kind of bean you want, but I'm using some red beans. Gonna cover that up and cook it on a medium heat for about five minutes just to get it hot. Now we're gonna add in three tablespoons of that brown sugar. And we do this while it's hot so that way it melts real, real good. Stir it up real good. Reduce your heat to low. We're going to cook that for about 30 minutes. Now every once in a while, you might want to go ahead and give it a stir all the way to the bottom just to make sure it ain't burnt. Make sure you cover it back up and keep it cooking. After 30 minutes, oh look at that, we got ourselves some dead chili there. Now let's put some of that up in this bowl. And if you truly want to kick it up, garnish that with some Mexican cheese and some jalapeno peppers. Oh, y'all. This stuff is some good, yeah. Let's give that a taste and see what that tastes like. Mmm. 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 Well, let's do the second opinion real quick. Mmm. Oh, yeah, y'all. That is so good. I love it. Make sure you try this recipe out. Give it a try. If you like it, make sure you put them comments down in that section below. And if you don't like it, just don't make it again. That's all. But seriously, y'all, make sure to click that like, subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. And hit that notification bell to make sure that every time I upload a new video or put some new content up there that you ain't never going to miss a thing, y'all. So I'm going to go back to eating this chili. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather. And y'all go cook that, y'all. Lazer la bonton roulette.